School starts exactly one month from today for a lot of Valley students. And now is the time parents need to start thinking about not only their physical, but their mental health. Here's Santiago Caicedo. Andrea Colmenares is doing her best to be a grandmother. You need to be empathetic with your kids, she tells me, adding you have to know what it's like to be in their shoes and remember how you felt at that age. She says she was brought up very differently when she was a kid. A mí me educaron con la chancla. <laughs> My parents would hit me with a flip-flop if I didn't behave, she says. Colmenares has three adult children herself, and with school season starting soon, she remembers how difficult the transition from elementary to middle school was for her kids, something mental health experts say adults need to keep in mind with little ones. They were going from being uh, very familiar with a smaller class and with all their friends. And when they move to secondary school, sometimes they're a smaller fish in a lot bigger pond. Bob Cooper is a licensed clinical social worker at South Texas Health System. He believes there's usually an uptick in stress and sometimes mental health issues during preteen years. Sometimes your child's friends don't go with them into middle school, which could cause your child to feel more isolated. Cooper adds that teenagers might want independence from their parents. That's why he recommends you make time to talk to your kids, especially at the start of the new year. Ask them how they're doing and actually pay attention to them. You can't just ask why you're cooking dinner or doing some other task. If you get them to communicate with you, you really have to be attentive to what they're saying. Prove to your child that you are listening. Ask questions based on what they've told you before. If they do voice some concerns, Cooper recommends you act on them. For much younger kids, Cooper says adjusting from being home all day to going to school for the first time could be stressful. Really what you want to do is start preparation about two weeks, three weeks before school actually begins and be out of the home uh, doing things experientially. This way they're used to being away from home, including the TV, for longer periods of time. Cooper recommends creating habits and following a set sleeping schedule. From her experience raising kids, Colmenares believes it's important keeping an open conversation. Yo les digo que es hacerse como el rey de las preguntas. I recommend parents ask a lot of questions. As parents, you have to ask questions, she says. In Edinburgh, Santiago Caicedo, Channel 5 News.